What's up you guys? In this quick video, I'm talking about the Divine Intervention Podcast since I mentioned it in some of my previous videos. It's an excellent supplementary resource for steps one, two, and three, as well as other important topics for medical students and junior residents. I discovered Divine Intervention during my third year and used it for my shelf exams and step two. It was a super convenient, low stress way for me to reinforce the material I was learning from UWorld, online med ed, and my third year clerkships. Divine gets through so much material in a 20 to 40 minute podcast and even covers interesting facts and statistics that I couldn't find in other study resources. It was one of the few study tools out Outside of UWorld that helped me score a 264 on step two. It's available on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and directly on his website. His content is always current and on the cutting edge of what the USMLE is looking to test. Most of his podcasts are about a group of related high yield topics in rapid succession. He even asks questions to give you a chance to pause the audio and try to answer the question for yourself before he gives the answer. So if they give you a question about a person that you know has a history of Down syndrome that dies of a subarachnoid hemorrhage, what's going on there? I really just listened to as many of these podcasts as I could on my free time in no particular order during my third year and took notes on the things that I didn't know. But his episodes are organized by step exam and further broken down by disciplines and organ systems. So let's get right into it. On the main page of his website, you can only see his most recently uploaded videos. But if you go over here to the podcast topics tab, you can find his videos are better organized by USMLE exam and then further broken down by discipline. You can see he has a section for step one, step two, step three, and shelf exams. Step two CS has been voted off the island, so don't waste a single minute of your precious time listening to these podcasts, unless by the time you're watching this video, the MBME has done a complete 180 and reinstated step two CS. The exam topic lists tab also has a Google spreadsheet where his episodes are also thoroughly broken down by exam and the disciplines for each exam. This is a better option if you're like me and you prefer listening on Spotify during your workouts, or if you think Divine Intervention would be a great pump up playlist. Okay, welcome. My name's Divine. You can go on Spotify or Apple Podcasts, search the episode number, and just listen to it right there. Uh, this is episode 250 of the Divine Intervention Podcast. Just a heads up though, if it's earlier than episode 241, you won't be able to find it on Spotify or Apple. Unfortunately, Spotify and Apple limit the number of podcast uploads a creator can have. So after a certain amount are uploaded, each new episode bumps out the oldest. So his website is the only place where his complete podcast collection is available. You can either listen on the webpage or download the episodes that you plan to watch as an mp3 file. He also has episode notes written by other students on most of his episodes, which you may find helpful for following along or reviewing his content. Now, if you're watching this video and getting ready for step two, Divine has a huge first time event coming up called the Step 2 CK School or DISC, which I guess stands for Divine Intervention Step Crushers, maybe. He knows as well as anybody, your Step 2 CK score is going to be of the utmost importance for your residency match. So he spent a whole year researching the topics that the USMLE is looking to test for the Step 2 and the trends in the content that they're focused on. It's going to be a two-week full-time Step 2 review course from May 2nd to the 13th via Zoom. It's a full 75 hour curriculum based on the research that he did. He talks more about this in his announcement podcast, which you can see on the front page of his website, but he plans to cover everything from IM to neuro to biostats to ethics. He'll include adaptive learning tools such as audio and visual and NBME test taking strategies. This course will also be highly relevant for step three. He's limiting enrollment to 40 students to make sure each and every one of them has a deep investment in their learning of the material. Well, that's it guys. I hope this helped. And as always, if you you have any questions about what I talked about or would like to see me discuss another topic, let me know in the comments. If you want to know how I scored a 264 on step two or talk about helpful phone apps, go ahead and click these links here. See you in the next video.